Well, if you've made a nice end grain cutting board, what's a great tool to surface that? Should you use a planer or a drum sander? That's the topic today. We'll get into it. Well, as a woodworker, I'm sure you've made plenty of long grain cutting boards, but what about an end grain cutting board where you cut multiple strips and turn them up on edge so you're actually showing the end grain? And that's a really interesting project to make, but it creates a difficult situation when it comes time to mill that for the first time. And so people ask themselves, hey, I've got a planer, can I just send that end grain cutting board through a planer to surface that material? And some people say, yeah, I've gotten away with it with really light cuts, but it's one of those things that you are truly getting away with. It's not a recommended technique, particularly if your planer has straight knives. If you have a helical head, yeah, you may get away with it now and again with super light cuts, taking almost no material off the top but when it goes badly, it tends to end catastrophically. It'll destroy the cutting board, might even damage your machine, and worse, you have projectiles shooting out of your planer. It all comes down to the cutting action. When you have end grain exposed to the cutters, this is a much more difficult cut than if it was just a simple long grain or the face of the lumber. To me, it's a lot like trying to route the end of a chair leg where there's end grain involved. And if you've ever done this, you know that as you come around a pattern, uh, this is the trickiest area. If you're along the long grain routing, you're usually fine. Some of the end grain is fine, and then you get to a certain point in the end grain, and it wants to catch and chip out. And so you have to have these specialty bits in a routing situation. But as far as an end grain cutting board, the solution really seems to be use a drum sander instead. So we've got an 80 grit wrap on the drum sander at this point. We'll do our initial leveling with that, then we'll switch to a finer 120. All right guys, there's my preferred method for surfacing end grain cutting boards in the shop. Just stay safe and avoid the planer for this particular task because of the end grain application. Just use a drum sander instead. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.